Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine, fine. <laughs> okay. That sounds good that you are fine. So welcome to this class again. Let's start with the question. Do you have any problem with the platform exercises? Any question, any doubt about those exercises in the evaluation? No question. In which section are you working on? Who is working in section three? Who is still working on section three? No. Nobody who's working in section number four. Section number four and section number five. Nobody's working on that section. And what about the final exam? Who has already taken the final exam? Nobody? Me, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. So don't forget that we have to finish the platform exercises during this week, right? And the next week, we need you to take the final exam and complete the 100% of the platform, right? Uh, you are going to get your diploma with uh, at least the 80%. Don't forget about that, but please complete the whole platform. That is gonna be important for you. So we have just to finish section number four, we are going to go to the reading part here we are, just a second. Let's start here tonight, and we're going to go with section number four. Section number four, we are going to work in the reading part. So do you remember the reading part in section number four? What was it about? That's a second. So here we go. It's about Cristina Aguilera. Do you have any question about this reading part? We have it here. New vocabulary in this passage or you haven't read yet? So, Cristina Aguilera, do you like Cristina Aguilera music? Yes, I do. No, okay. I like it. I don't. No, I don't really like it very much. Your voice is amazing. Ah, yes, her like voice is amazing. Like. Okay, is she famous? Is she famous all around the world? And so yeah. gorgeous. Ah, oh, she's so gorgeous. You are right. Oh, okay, so now let's see. Cristina Aguilera. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she's the best singer of her generation. She's Cristina Aguilera. So new vocabulary in that small paragraph. Highlight. Oh, okay. So you say, I like this paragraph. E what about this expression so far? So far she has multiple hit singles. What's the meaning of that phrase? So far? No ideas? No. No ideas? Okay. So far means hasta el momento, hasta aquí. Hasta este momento, she has multiple hit singles. 
tiene muchísimas canciones, ¿verdad? Que están en el top, en el, en, que han estado en el top de las listas de preferencias. So that is a hit, right? She has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages. ¿De qué edad son sus fans? So in this paragraph set of all ages, de todas las edades, right? And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. Algunas personas piensan que ella es la mejor cantante de su generación. Do you agree? Is she the best singer of her generation? What do you think? Is it true? Is she the best singer? No, I think it's she. She. she I don't have any idea about who Christina yes, Aguilera teacher, is. Yes, teacher. Then let's go with this. Here are some highlights of Christina life and career. Vamos a ver algunos puntos importantes de la vida y la carrera de Cristina Aguilera. So here is a timeline. Here is a table with the timeline of her life so far. So Cristina is born on December 18 in New York. Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Cristina is on TV in Disney New Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Cristina records all I wanna do with Keiso. Keiso Nakashi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Cristina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Cristina has her first big hit. Jenny in a battle, along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Mowling Road. Christina performed at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Christina wins the Best Female Folk Vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. So do you have any question about vocabulary in this paragraph? In this timeline, appears questions, no questions. What's mean appears? No question tonight. So look at this. How do you read this? How do you read this year? 1980. How do you say that in English? Who wants to help me with that? Hello. One hundred nine eighteen. No. How do you say 1980 in English? One thousand nine hundred eighty. No idea. Teacher. No okay, no let me help you then. Uh, we are going to say 1980. Hay otra manera de decirlo y es separando los dos números, ¿verdad? 1980. 1980. Teacher. Teacher. Teacher, do you listen? Teacher. Hi, Hi teacher. teacher. Hello. 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 Teacher. Hello. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Listen. Can you listen now? Can you listen now? Nosotros sí lo escuchamos. Nosotros lo escuchamos. Yo he hecho varias preguntas y no me escuchan. Ah, ¿en serio? I'm so sorry about that. Sí, es que nosotros hablamos y no... Y no, no. Sí, yo te miro tres veces he preguntado algo y no me responde. Tranquilo, ah. no se enoje. <laughs> ah, ok. Bueno, well, let me see what's happening here. But now, can you listen? You can listen. Yes. Sí. Sí. Ahora sí los sí. puedo escuchar a ustedes también. Ok. 
Okay, so what were your question? By the way, what were your question? ¿Cuáles fueron sus preguntas? I'm so sorry about this situation. That happened, right? What mean uh, appears? Ah, okay, no, give no, me no. a second. We are going to see this is in 1988, right? 1988. Yes. Cristina first appears on television. A aparecer. Cristina apareció por primera vez okay. en la televisión en this show that is called Star Search. Star Search. Buscando una estrella. Any other question? No question. Okay, now let's come back with this. How do you say these numbers? Or oh, these years? The first one is 1980. Okay, we can, to say dates or years, we have two options. You can say it completed. Okay, you can say 1980 or you can say 1980. Okay, excellent. So you don't have any other question? No question. Then let's finish this reading. Overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She laughed. I simply love my job. So do all Cristina fans. Ok, sobre todo, Cristina Aguilera está asustada por su éxito. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. Um, ha sido, ¿verdad? Tan rápido como una roller coaster. And she laughs, se ríe, ¿verdad? I simply love my job. Simplemente amo lo que hago. I simply love my job. ¿Quién puede decir eso? I simply love my job. Aman su trabajo. Me, teacher. Aman su trabajo, yes. Yes, I love. Ah, okay, that's very good. And so, so do all Cristina fans. Y así, ¿verdad? Todos los fans de Cristina Aguilera también, ¿verdad? Aman su trabajo. So now you have uh, some, some question in this part, and you have to complete this part. Uh, she sings of the Winter Olympic Games. Was it the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, or the eighth event? Seven event. It was the seven event. Now let's go with the name. When she is born in New York. Wow. One event. One. That is the first one. Third. In... Okay, that was the first. Let's see, she wins a Grammy for the song Beautiful. Number one. Number one. Uh, uh, a event. Number... A event. It was a event. She records a song for a Disney movie. She records a song for a Disney movie. Five event. That is the five event. Okay. And she travels around Japan. Fourth event. Okay, excellent. She works with Britney Spears. It's the third event. Now let's see, uh, what about Britney Spears? Do you like Britney Spears music? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Ah, okay, she's on television for the first time. That is the second event. And the last one, let's see, I guess it's the last one. She has her first very successful song. That is was the sixth event. Now is she was born in 1980. How old is she now? Cuántos años tiene? Is she was born in 1980? Mm -hmm. 42 years. 40, 40, 42 years. Okay, 42 years. 41, right? 41 years. On December of 2022, she's going to celebrate her 42 birthday. 
She is still young, right? She's still young. So do you have any question about this exercise? Questions? No, no question. Teacher. Question, teacher. No question. Okay, excellent. Now let's go with today's topic. That was the last exercise here in the section number four. And tonight we're going to start section number five. This is the last section of this course. So it is about the family. The name of section five is the next one. Let me show you. Tell me about your family. Tell me about your family. That is the name of the section number five is this one. So we are going to learn how to talk about our family. Do you know the names of your family members? Okay, and this asking about your families and tell me about your family. That is the name of the section five. We are going to start this tonight. So do you remember the name of the family members? How do you say abuelo, for example? Grandfather. 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 Okay, excellent. How do you say tío, for example? Uncle. 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 How do you say prima? How do you Cousin. 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 How do you say hermano? Brother. 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 How do you say nieto? Nephew. Nephew. No, no. Nephew. <laughs> Nephew. <laughs> Okay, grandson, yes, grandson. And <laughs> how do you say cuñado? Um, he said a nephew. <laughs> he said a no, no, no. No, no, no. Nephew es el sobrino. Nephew ah, es okay. el sobrino. Okay. Brother, brother in law. Okay, yes, brother in law. ¿Y cómo dicen suegro? How do you say suegro in English? No idea, so we are going to learn that tonight. And let's see, how do you say hermanastro, for example? I don't know. Oh, you don't have any idea. So tonight we're going to talk about our family. Uh, how many, how many people are there in your family? How many people are there in your family? Quantas personas hay en su familia? In my family, are Como 1,000, teacher. <laughs> How many people are there in your family? Nunca los ha contado. ¿Cuántos hay? Seven. Five members. Oh, you see five. Members, my five. Okay, five people in your family. There are five people in your family. Ah, ok. ¿Quién es hijo único acá? ¿Quién es hijo único? No vale. Ah, Julia, ok. Qué suerte. ¿Solo Julia? Bueno, no tuvo que pelear los juguetes. ¿no? Ni, ni la ropa. Ni le tocaron los libros usados de sus hermanos. Ok, so let's start. <laughs> So let's start with tonight's topic and we're gonna go to this in this part. I am sharing with you my screen. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me about your family. That is the topic for tonight and this is the class 12. This is the class number 12, so. Let's start with this vocabulary. We are going to start with this family tree. What is a family tree? Do you have any idea what is a family tree? Uh, Arbol familiar. Arbol familiar. Ah, okay, muy bien. Es el árbol genealógico, ¿verdad? De donde organizamos nuestra familia, de donde venimos y quiénes son nuestros relativos. So in this lesson, you are going to be able to listen a conversation about families using the present continuous. That is the objective for tonight. And we're going to start here. 
So look at this vocabulary, cosine. What is the meaning of cosine? Primo. Primo. Okay, excellent. It's primo, primo. Eh, father. Padre. Padre. Okay, and Padre. grandmother. Abuela. Abuela. Niece. Abuela. What about niece? Sobrina. 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 Sister in law. Cuñada. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uncle. 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 Tío. Tío. And, and wife. wife. Esposa. Esposa. Okay. Okay. Now we have to complete this family tree. Look at this. Look at Sand's family tree. How are these people related to him? Add this word to the family tree. We are going to complete this family tree using this work. So in the first, what I need to write in this one. Marta. Grandmother. Grandmother. Okay, she is the grandmother. She is, I'm sorry, I'm going to write here, grandmother. She's the grandmother. Now let's go with Chris. Father. Chris oh. is father. Okay, he is Sam's father. Father and mother. Sarah is her mother. Now he is son, husband, and he is what is Jumiko? Wife. Okay, wife. Wife. And Jean, Jean is his brother, and Lisa brother. is sister in law. Yes, sister in law. Okay, yes. sister in law. Sister in law. And it's right here. It's correctly sister in law. Do you have sister in law? Sister in law. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. No. No. <laughs> okay, now let's go with Donna and Manuel. Donna is out and Manuel is yes? uncle. Uncle. Okay, it's his uncle. uncle. It's his uncle. Very good. And Teresa is his. Cousin. No, no. Daughter. Cousin. Cousin. Es su prima, ¿verdad? Es la prima de San. Now, Kelly and Jim. Jim is his nephew, and Kelly is his. Miss. Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Ok. Miss. Miss. Es su sobrina. So we have here grandfather, grandmother, father, mother, a brother, sister-in-law, a husband, wife, uncle and aunt, cousin, niece and nephew. Okay. Son estos todos los miembros que existen en una familia? No. No, really? Who is missing? ¿Quién hace falta? Who is missing? Y el tatarabuelo, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, great grandfather. Great grandfather. Nieto o nieta, teacher. Great grandson and granddaughter. Hermanastros. Okay. Y los hermanastros. Ah, ok. Um, un hermanastro es step, step brother and step sister. We are going to learn this vocabulary in the next slide. Just give me a second. I'm going to erase this. Ok. Here we go. Ok, look at this. Mother, father. They were parents. What's the meaning of this? Does it mean parientes or padres? 
Padres. 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 Ok. So, mother and father. O oh, si usted se refiere a ambos, you say parents. Now we have wife and husband. Husband. Esposo, esposo. y. And wife. Esposa. 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 Then we have. Esposa. Then we have son and daughter. Son and daughter. daughter. Hijo, hijo, hijo e hija. Hijo e hija. Yes. yes, you are right. Now, if you say both of them, you say children. Si usted niño, se refiere niño. a... Niño. En general niño. a todos, ¿verdad? Niño. Children, niños. General. Then we have brother or sister. Brother or sister. Hermano, hermana. Hermano, hermana. Ok, El now, hermano. si usted quiere decir ambos, decimos siblings. Siblings significa hermanos. Siblings. siblings. So it doesn't matter if you're a brother or sister. You say, I have uh, two siblings. Yo tengo dos hermanas. No sabemos, dos hermanos. No sabemos si son eh, niñas o niños. You say siblings. Then we have cousins. Cousins. Con los que mejor sí. se lleva en la familia. Primo. Primo. Los primos, ¿verdad? Se peleaba con sus primos. Did you fight yeah. with your, did you fight yeah, with your cousins? <laughs> Okay, and relatives. What is the meaning of this word? Relatives. And you say, I visit my relative every weekend. Pariente. Yes, parientes, relatives. Oh, any volunteer to read these family members? <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Emerita. Can you please start? Father, father, I, husband, son, daughter, children, brother, sister, sibling, cousin, relatives. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's see the next part of this vocabulary. In the next part, we have the next family members. Okay. Aunt, uncle, nephew, niece, grandparents, grandmother, grandfather, grandson, granddaughter, grandchildren, and spouse. So aunt, what's the meaning of aunt? Tío. Tia. Uh, tia, right? Tia. Uh, sí, sí. And uncle? Tío. Tío, man. Okay. Tío. Los, que nos llevaban a, los que nos llevaban al cine, nos compraban cosas. Aunt and uncle. Then you said what you mean, spouse? Spouse. It's like uh, esposos. Spouse. Eh, en general, ambos. Eh, oh. Él y ella. I guess it's ah. she. Esposa. Esposa. Pose. And then we have nephew. ¿Quién ya tiene nephews? ¿Quién ya tiene nephews? Me, teacher. Me. Alejandra. Ah, ok. Miss, Miss, sobrina. Yes. Yes. Me. Okay. ¿Son, tío yes. Buena, ¿Son tío buena onda o los tíos que no les yes. gustan los sobrinos? <laughs> okay, now let's see. Grandparents. Grandparents. Cuando nos referimos a ambos. Bueno, grandmother and grandfather. So we say grandparents. Eh, grandson. Grandson is the nieto. Granddaughter, nieta. Grandchildren. Los nietos. Bueno, the grandchildren. Los nietos. En spouse. Se refiere a ambos, pero es el cónyuge. Es el cónyuge. Así que puede ser él o ella. Spouse, cónyuge. Let's see the next. Stepmother. Stepfather. Stepson. Stepdaughter. Stepsister. And stepbrother. So, what's the meaning of the first one? Stepmother. Madrastra. Yes, stepfather. 
His stepson. He has been. And his stepdaughter. He has to. His stepsister. His stepsister. And his stepbrother. And what about half sister and half brother? Medio hermano, medio hermano. Ah, okay. Half sister. Half sister and half brother, right? Now let's go with sister in law. Sister in law. What is the meaning uh, of sister in law? Cuñada. Okay. Quieren mucho a sus cuñados, a su sister in law and brother in law? Yes. Yes. No. Ok, no importa que le peguen a sus hermanos. You love them. Sister in love and brother in law. And also we have father in law and mother in law. Ok, todavía se cuenta algún miembro de la familia. ¿Hace falta alguno o ya están completos? ¿Y bisabuelo, teacher? Great grandfather. And what about this one? Godfather and godmother. Padrino, madrina. Okay, godfather and godmother. And what about the next one? Isn't it part of the family? The pet? Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, there are. Pet. And what about this family member? Is it part of the family? Amante. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is or no, it isn't. In secret, he is, is part. Ah, okay. In secret, he is part. And this one, your friend. And also, what's the other one? Boyfriend. Yes. Novia y novio. Novia y novia. Okay. They are almost part of the family, right? Almost. They are almost part of the family. So, any question about this vocabulary? Any questions? So, you say bisabuelo, right? You say great grandfather. Great grandfather. And great grandmother, para bisabuela. Any question? No, teacher. No questions. Okay, excellent. Now let's go with the conversation. We are going to listen a conversation. A person is speaking about her family. So let's listen. Let me know, please, if you can listen. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Can you listen to the conversation? Yes. 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 Listen and practice. Yes. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. What does Rita brother, oh sorry, what does Sue sister do? What does Sue sisters do? Um, sister works government. Ah, okay. And brother work uh, his wildlife photography. Okay, so now let's see. Her sister works for the government. And what does she do? A qué se dedica? A qué hace? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Okay. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. Would you like to work on this field? Wildlife photographer? 
would do it. I would like it, but I have heard that it is a little bit um, dangerous. Dangerous? Okay, yes, you are right. Yes, you are right. Um, it says, wildlife photographer imagined taking a photograph of a lion. And you must be so close to the lion. So it's kind of dangerous. Tricia, you are right. Now, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Mm, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother, he's traveling in the Amazon. Where is this river located on? Brazil. Amazon, Brazil. Okay, it's on Brazil. So, do you want to tell about your brother and sister? What does your sister do? The ones who has sister, what does your sister do? Nobody has sister. What does your sister do? And you say, oh, she's a lawyer. She's a secretary. Oh. She's a student. What does she do? My sister is a psychologist. Okay, it's psychologist. That's nice. Any other answer? What does your sister My do? My sister is a She's cosmetologist. Okay, she's a cosmetologist. A stylist. Anyone? She what is does? a student. She is a student. Very good answer. She's a student. Thank you so much. Now, what does your brother do? What does your brother do? He is a mechanic. Thank you, Florcita. He is a mechanic. Thank you. Any other answer? My brother is a teacher. Mm, okay, excellent. My brother is a teacher. Math teacher, science teacher. Math teacher. Math teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much for your answer. Any other answer? What does your brother do? Rocios, uh, yes, tell me. <laughs> My brother is a student, escribió Rocío. My brother is a student. Thank you so much for your answer. What does your brother do? Okay, then now change. Let's go with your parents. What does your mother do? What does your mother do? And you say she is. Yeah, or yeah. what? Como, como sería que trabaja en costura. What's her profession again? Designer. She's a she's a club designer. Really? Yes, diseñadora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other? Or dress? De casa. Oh. She's a housewife. She's a housewife. House. She's a housewife. Any other answer? Now let's go with your father. What does your father do? You see, he's a... He's a security. He is a private security guard. Any other answer? Si quiero decir de jubilado o pensionado. Oh... That is a nice word, jubilado, pensionado. He is, let me see. Let's 
uh, are retired. He is retired. He is retired now. He ya se retiró, ¿verdad? He is retired. Ah, uh, he is retired. Ah, sí. Eh? Thank you. No, que ya no trabaja más. Qué suerte, ¿verdad? O oh, Carpenter. En mi um, caso, sí, car Carpenter. Años. 30 años de trabajo. Bueno, ¿quién ya está cerca? ¿Quién no, está... 30 años de haberse retirado. ¿Really? Ah, ok. A él, yeah. él, a él sí le duró la pensión, ¿verdad? Qué bueno. Good. Le ha ido eh, mal al peor. <risa> ¿Y quién ya está cerca de jubilarse de ustedes? No, picha, todavía no. We are too young. We are too young. Bueno, let's listen the second part of this conversation, but we are going to listen on the platform. So, here we go. Give me a second. We are going to watch this video. So, let me know, please, if you can see it. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Let me know, please, if you can listen in the conversation. Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Yes. Tell about your brother and sisters. So this is the first part, and then we're going to listen to the second part of this conversation. Here we go. So, well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, now look at the equation. The conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? Where do Rita's parents live? What's the answer? Texas. They live in Texas. Okay, they live in Texas, but where in Texas? What's the name of the city? Austin. Okay, Austin. And what do they do? What do they do? What does Rita, Rita's mothers do? What does Rita's Her mother do? Her mother is a teacher in the university. Okay, and what about? His father, father is, carpenter. is a carpenter. 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 Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. Now let's come back to this. When we are talking of our family, we need to take into account some aspects. Let's see this. But first to go to that, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to participate tonight? Me, teacher. Okay, any other volunteer? Me, teacher. So, can you please start, please? Okay. Uh, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the gov government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? 
Pizza. No sé cómo decir esto. While, while life, while life photographer. Okay, while life photographer. What an in interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you so much, Andrea. That was great. Thank you very much. So, any to volunteer to practice in this conversation? So, okay, Oscar and any other volunteer? Okay, let's say Julia. Julia and Oscar. Oscar, you are going to start, please. Tell me about your brother. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, a freeze. Tell me about. Again, again. Okay. okay. Tell me about your brother and sister Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? <laughs> He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Oscar. That was a very good job. So, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? No, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother, he's traveling in the Amazon. So thank you so much. Let's. Part B. Let's see this. And uh, when you are telling about your family, you need to take into account this question. How many people are there in your family? What's the meaning of this question? Do you have an idea? What's the meaning of this? How many people are there in your family? Tres personas. Okay, and who are these? Okay, the first question is... Okay, yes, thank you. That is the right answer. How many people are there in your family? ¿Cuántas personas hay en su familia? And who are these people? ¿Quiénes son ellos? My father, my mother, my brother, my sister, my aunt, my uncle. So who are these people? And where do all your family live? Do you remember su family? They live in Texas, right? In Austin, Texas. Now, where do all your family live? And what is your family like? Como es su familia? You say, ah, they are funny. They are kind. They are lovely. And what do they do? ¿A qué se dedican ellos? ¿Qué hacen ellos? So don't forget about these points. How many people are there in your family? Who are these people? Where do all your family live? What is your family like? And what do they do? Ya que se dedican. You can also add information about the age. ¿Cuántos años tienen? And who do you live with? ¿Con quién vive usted? So let's see an example. We are going to read this example. So follow the reading, please. And it says, let me tell you about my family. I live with my mother, my father, and my big sister. 
We live in California. My mother's name is Marta. She's a Spanish and she speaks English and Spanish. She's a Spanish teacher. She's short and slim. She has long brown hair and brown eyes. My father's name is Jacob. He's American. He's tall and a little fat. He has short brown hair and blue eyes. He works in a bank. My sister, Sarah, is 14 and she loves listening to music. She listens to music all the time. She has brown hair and green eyes like me. I have long hair too. We have a pet dog, Brandy. He's black and white and very friendly. So the first question, how many people are there in this family? How many people are there in this family? Four people. There are, there are four people. Where do they live? Where do they live? They live in California. Okay. How old is Sarah? How old is Sarah? 14. 14 years old. 14. Okay. What animal is the pet? Dog. They have a dog. It's dog. a dog. Brandy. Okay. The names of the dog is Brandy. Brandy. What does what does the mother do? She is a teacher in Spanish. Oh, she is a Spanish teacher. Spanish And teacher. What does the father do? He works in a bank. Okay, he works in a bank. Probably he's an accountant. Probably he's an accountant. Okay, where is the mother from? Where is the mother from? <laughs> California. Oh, she lives in she California. She is Spanish. Okay, yes. she's in Spanish. She is in Spain. So Spain. she she is from Spain. She's from Spain. Spain. Okay. 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 Nice. Now we can see that uh, also in these examples and uh, these. Yes. Where what means slim? She's slim. Short and slim. Oh, she's short and slim. Slim es esbelto. Delgado. No mm. es ni, del, ni muy delgado ni muy corto. Sí, esbelto. She's short and slim. Any other question in this paragraph? So as you can see in this example, this person also mentioned some uh, physical uh, Physical appearance, right? Appearance physical de sus familiares, right? She's short and slim. She has long brown hair and brown eyes. So we can also mention this when we are talking about our family. And look at this. Is, he is American. My father's name, Jacob, he's American. He is tall and a little fat. So physical appearance. And he has short brown hair and blue eyes. Now look at this. Uh, how do they look? ¿Cómo parecen? Son una familia feliz. Se llevan bien. Fun. Funny. Funny. Very funny. They look funny, right? So what about your family? Who wants to talk about? Tell me about your family. Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Tell me about your family. Tell me something about My your family. My family is very funny and they are a little bit crazy, but in the good way. Oh, I understand. I understand what you mean. 
Thank you, Crisia. Any other volunteer? Tell me about your family. Let's start with the first question. How many people are there in your family? Any volunteer to answer this question? How many people are there in your family? And who are these people? In my family are five, five people. I have two sisters. My my mother my mother is her name is Miriam and my father name is Jose. He's a building build como sería constructor. Builder is a builder. He is a builder and my two sisters. Mm -hmm. The, ¿cómo sería la mayor? My older sister. My older sister is a doctor. She is a doctor. And the, la menor. The younger sister. The, my younger my sister. sister. My younger sister. She is a teacher. She's a teacher. Okay. And, and, and I we we have we have we have nosotros tenemos yes we have we have we have three cats three cats okay what are their names what are their names? Uh, Coco, Pintita, and um, no, el otro no tiene nombre. Ah, okay. <laughs> Conocido como el Micho. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> el Micho. Okay, thank you, Wendy. That was perfect. Thank you so much to share about your family. Uh, any other volunteer? Tell My me teacher. about your family. My thank teacher. You. Thank you, Sara. Tell me. Okay, my family is, is small. I have two children and a dog. My, uh, my children is, are schooling. Only. Okay, thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Sarah. That was great. Me, teacher. Thank Carmen. you, Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. You can start, please. Tell me about your family. My family is small. Um, I have three brothers. Uh, I have um, six sisters. Mm, my father, um, Bill, ¿cómo se dice? What's the question? ¿Cómo se dice viudo? Viudo. Sí. Okay, we say widow with. Widow with. Yes. My father is widow with. Okay. Um, I have one the cat. Okay, I have a cat. Your name is uh, uh, Sandy. Its name, its name is Sandy. Yeah. Ah, okay. Its name is Sandy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Tell me about your family. Me ready. Thank you, Betty. I with um for for people. I have two children. I have a one son. I have one daughter. His name. Is Liam? 
and he is your soul. He is two years old, and my daughter, she's six years old, and my husband, his name is Ricardo. I, he's working. I have a dog and cat. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Uh, what's your daughter's name? What's your daughter's name? My daughter, she's name is Belen. Okay, her name is Belen. Her name is Belen. What a beautiful name. Thanks. Lian and Belen, right? Yes. Okay. Very nice names, right? And any volunteer to tell me about your family? Me, teacher. Christian. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Uh, in my family, there are five people. My mom, Dora, and my brother, um, Rafael, my sister, Lady, and my little bro, um, Justin, and, and I. Um, I have a cat called Jumpio <laughs> and a dog called Kimchi. Okay, thank you, Crisia. What Jumpio? Does it jump a lot? Of? Does it like to jump? A lot. Uh, I call I call him Jumpio because I saw a um, a TV series and the the main uh, and one person calls Jumpio, so I thought that that name was good. Okay, that's very interesting. So Jun Junkyo. Junkyo o Jumpio. Jumpio. Oh, Jumpio. It's the name of a main character in a TV program. That's excellent. Very good. Uh, any other volunteer? The last volunteer for tonight. Tomorrow you are going to share with your classmate right in the breakout rooms. But for today, I need the last volunteer. Tell me about your family, anybody. Nobody wants. Tell me about your family. So say, teacher, in my family, we are 50 people. And you say, I have like 20 aunts, 20 uncles. Yes, tell me. In my family, we are three persons. It's my husband. Is the name is Jose, and my daughter is Maybelline, and me. And we have four dogs and one cat. Their names are Rocco, Rex, Sombra, and Taiwa, and the cats is Lola. Okay, thank you so much, right? Uh, when I heard Sombra, so I I guess that that dog is dangerous, right? It is unfriendly. Okay, so we are three people. We are three people. Uh, anyone? No more volunteers tonight, so thank you so much for your participation. You did a great job talking about your family. Tomorrow, we are going to continue uh, practicing this topic, right? So be prepared. We are going to tell our classmate about our family. So you can, you can use the expression that we learned tonight. I'm going to share with you the presentation in case you need it. Right? 
And tomorrow you are going to practice with your classmate in the breakout rooms. So if you don't have any other questions, I just want to say thank you so much for your attention, your participation, your punctuality, and have a nice night. Sleep very well and see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Bye-bye, guys. Take bye. care. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Margarita, do you have a question? Can I help you? No, teacher. Ah, okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye.